Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Alyssa Avoxy and today we are going to be wrapping everybody's Christmas presents. I got the majority of everyone that I needed to get done, done. I still have some people from my boyfriend's family, one of my closest friends, and a couple more things I need to get from our boyfriend. Me and my family, every year we do Secret Santa, like from the entire house, so we don't have to get gifts for every single person. We set a limit and you can get one thing that adds up to that limit or you can get multiple things until you hit that limit. I got Grace this year, which she already knows, so. Okay, so the thing is, some people I know actually watch my videos, so I'm not going to show you what I got them. But then there's a couple of my friends who don't watch my videos, so I'm like, okay, it's fine. Like, I can wrap their presents. My boyfriend, I think I'm not gonna show you what I'm wrapping for him because it's a 50-50 chance that he'll watch it and I don't want to have any spoilers. I have one of his sister's gifts, my friend Sarah's gift, my friend Addie's gift, my friend Nina's gift, gift and all the stuff for grace so grace his sister and nina i can show you guys but sarah and addy i can't show you guys because they're like literally the only two friends who consistently watch my videos so like you guys aren't getting a spoiler sorry i don't know why i've been like running out of breath so much recently like the last couple days i just keep running out of breath but moving on let me show you guys what i got for grace so for like my house secret santa i ended up getting grace this year i didn't get her a birthday gift so i kind of went a little crazy and i went over the limit for christmas to make up for her birthday a little bit people are always asking me like what stuff i use in my hair and then i sent her a secret santa questionnaire thing so that i knew what type of product she liked and then i could just get her like other products of that so i got her the wee dog curl shaper take shape plumping and defining cream she likes her curls to like hold down hold that consistent wet look and then i got her this one i actually use myself the wee dog defining gel this one is really good for keeping your curls holding shape so wee dog i always recommend their products they're really good products so i got her that for her hair then i got her a cute little bath set one of her favorite body scents is jasmine so i found this one on amazon that's like a complete body set. Oh, it tells you what it comes with on the back. So it comes with a shower gel, bubble bath, bath salt, hand cream, body lotion, bath bomb, a loofah, eye mask, bath towel, nail tool bag, bath gloves, and then the basket itself. Then I also got her some more hair tools coming in because another thing on her like secret Santa list was like what hair care tools do you like the most? I've been using this U brush from TikTok my mom got me. It is the best brush that I have ever fucking gotten. So I got her one and then off of Amazon, I ordered her an entire brush set with different types of brushes, different types of hair tools. The one that she was looking for the most was a rat tail comb. So there's like two of those in that set plus a bunch of other brushes and tools. And then Grace is definitely the artist out of the group. She hasn't been doing art a lot recently, but I got her these acrylic markers that I saw on TikTok shop. Something that she could still use for when she does start doing art again and also maybe a little motivation to get her back into art because she's really fucking like talented and good at it. I love seeing like what she comes up with and I love seeing the product of her art so a little nudge and get back to what you're good at because you're fucking talented and i wish i had your talent you know i also got her a coloring book the stress relief coloring book and i feel like this one is good for the acrylic markers because it has one side with like black so that when you're using a marker it doesn't bleed through and then it's just really like cute pretty stuff it has a lot of different like well honestly this one right here the cat is what made me buy this one like this coloring book but i just felt like they had a lot of cute stuff that she would enjoy in here that'd be fun especially to use the markers for. She also sent me an Amazon wish list. So I just got everything on the Amazon wish list, which was two turtlenecks, white and black, a backpack. And then she used to have this chain that had the onk on it and gold and silver, but she got rid of it and then she wanted a new one. So I got her the gold and silver. And then the only thing that I didn't get on her Amazon wish list was the AirPods because I had already bought in so much stuff by the time she sent me the Amazon wish list that I would have been way over the amount that we set for the whole family if I got the airpods so I did go over like a little bit like the limit was 250 and I think I spent like around 300 I think I'm going to start off packing Grace's gifts I'm going to use this wrapping paper the Santa Claus for her one thing to know about me I am terrible like seriously despicably bad at fucking wrapping gifts like I've never been good at it my mom has showed me how to wrap gifts too many times and I'm still just so like it's it's a problem like i'm just still so fucking bad at it um but we're gonna do our best and honestly it shouldn't even be that fucking hard it shouldn't be that hard to wrap gifts i think you're just either you're good at it or you're
did not. And I am not. So I'm going to put that halfway and then... Oh wait, I need to flip it around to the back. That's one thing I remember my mom telling me. Halfway and then this meets that and then fold here and I think you fold there and then it goes up and then another piece of tape hey I actually did this one pretty good I think this one came out slay slay I did that thanks mom for the tutorial because that shit actually looks fucking good that's the best I've ever wrapped a gift that's one done guys i don't know what's happening i'm like knock on fucking wood because i've never fucking wrapped presents this fucking good and it's coming out insane right now like i'm so fucking proud of myself you don't even understand i'm gonna finish up with grace's presents i'll see you guys when we're moving on to the next person i just finished up with grace's i put all the hair products and bath stuff into this box and i think when her hair tools come in i'm also just going to find a place in here for them as well but i tried to make it look still kind of cute inside the box where like you look in and you can still sort of see everything placed around i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it when i do get all the brushes if it doesn't fit when i get all the brushes i'll probably take this brush out and then do a separate bag or box for the brushes i'm not sure but right now this has all the hair and body stuff bro the way i wrapped <laughs> The way I wrapped these necklaces is actually so fucking pathetic. I wasn't sure how to wrap something this fucking tiny, so I just used the leftover wrapper that like I cut out from the other wrapping and basically just folded it over a bunch of times and then slapped some tape on the back. So this one literally looks cracked out, but it's wrapped, so you get the fucking point. Um, yeah, basically all the stuff for her besides the shirts is wrapped. Next, I'm going to move on to Nina's gifts. So Nina, I'm going to do in this like cream colored snowflake wrapping paper and she's been getting more into art recently these have been going crazy on tiktok shop the grabby 100 color watercolor set it has 50 regular colors and 35 metallic colors even like when i've been seeing her get more into her art stuff she's either like drawing like charcoal pencil drawings or doing watercolor so i also got her a little watercolor sketchbook that i think she'll really like and it's like mini so it's travel size if she wants to go like painting at the park or something or painting with her friends if we're doing like one of those little picnic date type things this would be really cute and easy to travel with and then i also got her a candle i got one of these for my boyfriend's birthday and it smelled so fucking good it's a woodwick candle for him i got the smoke and vanilla for her i got lavender woods i don't know when i smell lavender it just makes me think of nina so i feel like i'm always getting her lavender scented things i'm not like the biggest fan of the scent lavender but it just makes me think of her it actually smells really good good even for like not being the biggest fan of something lavender so i got her the watercolors the sketchbook and the candle and then i also got her this charcoal pencil set it unzips and then you have all the pencils different tools for the pencils a sharpener not really sure what the fuck this is but it's very like in depth and you have like a lot to work with here so i thought that would be super cute for her as well so between me grace and nina the three of us always exchange gifts on on New Year's Eve because we always spend New Year's Eve together the three of us it's like one of our traditions and we've been doing Secret Santa the last few years between the three of us so this year uh, I got Nina again last year too but this year I got Nina so it kind of worked out I got to get gifts for Grace and Nina this year so that's kind of cool our limit was a hundred dollars so like we also set a limit on how much we can spend and I went like just under budget like everything all together was like $93.95 so I thought this was just a cute little set for her I can wrap everything I just finished up wrapping Nina's gifts. I think they came out really, really cute. I really like the wrapping paper, so I think I'm gonna use that wrapping paper for Addie's gift as well. I think I am gonna use it for Addie's gift, but for Sarah's, I might use the same one that I used for Grace. I can't show you guys what I got Addie or Sarah because they actually watch my videos and I don't want them to see it and then be like pretend that they didn't see it. And then pretend to be surprised because I actually really like what I got them. One thing about me, I suck at gift giving. Like I am so bad at gift giving. And then once I get into a groove of like, oh, I think they like this. Oh, I think they like this. Oh, I think I just start going crazy and I spend all my fucking money, which is exactly what happened with Grace and with my boyfriend. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot I have more stuff for Grace. 
<laughs> I have more stuff for Grace that's sitting on my bed. Sarah, Elijah, and I also do a secret Santa between the three of us. I got Sarah this year. When I saw the thing for Sarah, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. I need to get this. When I saw the thing for Addie, I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. I need to get this. For me, Sarah, and Elijah, I think the limit was $45. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap hers with the same one, the Santa Claus ho 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 one that I used for Grace. After this, I do have more gifts I need to wrap, but I have to get ready to go to work pretty soon. So I think we're gonna continue the rest tomorrow morning. Before I forget, the other stuff I got for Grace. Grace doesn't really wear color on her lips too often. She's definitely more of a clear gloss girly. So I just got her a bunch of different clear glosses that are like really good. So I got her the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Glass Slipper. Then I got her the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip and Clear as well. This one is in my main. And then I got the Essence Lip Glosses, the clear one. It's just called Crystal Clear. And then I just got her another. It's clear, but it looks white just because it's a clear glitter gloss from Essence. Let me go ahead and grab Addy and Sarah's and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning. All right, guys, welcome back. It is the next day. So like I was showing you guys for Grace's little lip glosses, I have this tiny little bag. So I'm just gonna drop them all in here. These little to and from stickers. I also have this tissue paper for gift wrap. So I'm gonna use like the white sparkly one. And then for gift wrap, you always wanna like find the middle point of the tissue paper and then just pull it down. So that's pretty much all the stuff for Grace. The only thing I still need to wrap is the turtlenecks for her. And when I get her hair tools in, that's pretty much everything I got for Grace. Checked off the list. She is done. I'm going to wrap my boyfriend's older sister's gifts. I don't remember if I was telling you guys, but she's pregnant. So I got her gifts for her pregnancy. For my boyfriend's dad, I just got him this little travel toiletries bag. And then he is in construction, so he works with his hands a lot. And I've seen really good reviews on these Duke and Cannon Bloody Knuckles and repair balm. So I got him this and I'm just going to put it inside the toiletries bag and then wrap the toiletries bag. Okay, obviously I have changed. I have to have to work in a little bit, but I just finished wrapping his dad's gift. So it's the toiletry travel bag and then I put the bloody knuckles balm inside of the bag. So his is all wrapped and then I wrapped his sister's. So this one is the Our First Years Together scrapbook for her. And then the frame with the handprints is this one. So his sister is all wrapped. And then perfect timing, actually. His other sister's gift just got delivered from Sephora. So I got her the Sol de Janeiro gift set. Basically, it comes with a shower cream, the bum bum cream, and then a little mini travel size of the perfume. They have this in the pink scent and the orange one. I believe this is like the salted caramel vanilla. One. I'm going to find the bag about the same size as this one to put hers in. I don't want to wrap this, but her gift just came in the mail. That's half of his family all set. I still have two more things I need to get for him. And then his mom and his younger brother. His mom, I already know what I'm getting her. His younger brother, I have no idea. Oh, and one of my really good friends, Haley. Basically, four more people I need to get gifts for. Haley's gift, I'm going to order this weekend. Since I have a little bit of time before I go to work, I wanted to give you guys a quick little try-on haul of all my winter coats for this season just to end the video off so I'm going to show you guys what I have basically planned for winter real quick okay so the first coat I have is an oldie but a goodie this was my dad's like back when I was like born so this jacket is literally older than me but I've stolen it like the past stealing Sto stolen. I've stolen it like the past four years. It is so comfy. It goes with so many outfits. It's really heavy duty and it's long, which I like, and then it's very vintage, which I love. So this jacket is perfect for any little going outfit if you just want to be warm but still cute. Something to bundle up with, even if you're just going to run errands real quick and it's like rainy, super cold, super windy. This is definitely one of the go-tos. My next jacket for this winter, I actually got while I was in St. Louis. Lewis, go ahead and click right up here to go watch the vlog that I got it in. This was my grandfather's jacket on my dad's side, the actual authentic motor jacket, like the motorcycle, motorbike jackets that everyone's been buying for $500. Yeah, I got an authentic one for the free, so we love that. It's really comfortable. I actually wore this while I was in St. Louis during the winter season. I was not cold. It's insulated on the inside, so it's very warm. It has inside pockets, it has pockets on the outside, and it's just very fashionable. You can get a lot of wear 
shirt with this for the winter seasons. This was definitely added to the collection for my winter fits this year. Next up, this is where we're tapping more into our browns. So I live in California. Our fall isn't fall. It just goes immediately from summer to winter. So I know brown tones are normally like more useful during the fall seasons. We don't have that here. So this jacket did not get put into use during fall. So it added to the winter coat collection. I've been using this a lot actually. So this year I've been working at the tree lot and I've been using this and the black leather one so much because it gets so cold at night and it is so warm so comfortable it gives the same vibe of the black leather jacket that i got from my dad this one i actually got from a style box from this girl on tiktok it was one of the pieces that i got from her and i love it it has so many pockets so it has pockets here in the front pockets on the side pockets in hotel room key <laughs> pockets on the inside it's just a 10 out of 10 jacket i love this jacket it's so warm i'm sweating being inside the house and wearing this right now that's how warm it is i love this is one of my new favorite jackets okay so this one has been sitting in my closet literally since last winter it had a fucking spider web on it so i was like scared to put it on i just took it to my dad to check to make sure that there was no spiders in it so thankfully we were safe but that's how you know it's been that long since i've worn it i literally only pull this jacket out during the winter seasons because it doesn't get fucking cold enough in california to wear this besides in the winter but i love this jacket i feel like it's so stylish this was my mom's before i was born so again this jacket is older than me it has a detachable fur hood this is from jlo's collection but it's so warm very similar to the leather brown jacket the only difference is this one's a puffer so it's a bit more cozy i'm supposed to be going on a trip to oregon with my man coming up so i'm probably gonna take this one with me honestly all of these jackets are probably coming with me but i feel like this one will be a good like really bundled up warm one because it's gonna be cold when we go and then last but not least we have this yellow puffer so the collar you can put up or down it is very loud but it's so warm so comfortable this is another one i literally never wear unless it's winter time in california because it's not cold enough to wear unless it's winter time in california it has two pockets in the front the pockets are also insulated with like a belt material but it's very warm to keep your hands warm and this one is definitely coming with me to oregon too very simple i feel like i could definitely style this with a lot the only thing that makes it hard to style is that it's yellow but i feel like yellows and browns always look good together i feel like that's controversial but i I think yellow and brown always goes good together i also wore it in st louis and i was not cold anyways guys with all that being said i really hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you comment like and subscribe all down below all my recent videos will be in the description down below as well as my tiktok instagram and my twitter so don't be afraid to go check those out i hope you enjoyed wrapping gifts with me for the holidays and my little mini winter coat haul collection that i've accumulated hopefully gave you guys some ideas for what you want to wear this winter with all that being said I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Happy holidays!